Okay, guys. Uh, first of all, welcome to the show. It's me again, Paul P. I'm here now in Solaire. And I was watching YouTube a few days ago and I saw uh, Mikey Chen visit this place and it's kind of intriguing. I'm here in Red Lantern, one of the outlets, restaurants here in Solaire. And they offer a dim sum all you can. So, <laughs> and it's per order basis. It's not like your typical, you go, it's staying, it's staying there. I prefer it this way so everything comes in fresh. So, I'm actually about to order some of the stuff here. And, tara, let's enjoy this. Okay guys, um, here's the ordering system. Let me explain it. They give you this. You can see that. Then um, focus, focus. There it is. Yeah, you can see it. It's basically they give you a pencil and a piece of paper. You check which ones you like, and then you basically it's per piece. So and you write on the side how many pieces of each you want. And actually, this is this is the best kind of buffet or all you can because you're assured that everything is freshly made for you one two it doesn't stay out in a buffet under that heating lamp which is actually quite nasty <laughs> but freshly made food is actually so much better and the good thing here is you already know how much you're getting how many how much food you're getting and there will be less wastage and that's actually one of the best things about this. You finish what you, you get what you want and make sure you don't have leftovers. Basically finish everything. Okay. So in Tagalog we have it bawal ang takaw tingin. In other words, eat what you can, order what you can. Don't or, don't order too much. Okay? So I'll be waiting for my food. I already ordered a few dim sum. And aside from dim sum, they also have main course dishes, rice rolls, they even have deep fried stuff and dessert. There's even a vegetarian dim sum here. So for vegetarians out there, they have a good selection of vegetarian food. Okay? So, we'll wait for that. So, yeah. Okay guys, uh, <laughs> the food has arrived. Well, some of it has arrived. And I'll start taking a video of everything and trying them out while they're still piping hot. I have my Codigo right here with me. And here's what I got. This is their Hargao. Their pork bun. Okay. The steamed shrimp in corn ball. Their shumai. Their... Dong Bo, Dong Po style braised pork belly. Their sweet and sour pork. Their spare ribs in black bean sauce. My rice rolls. This one is the lemon chicken. Deep fried lemon chicken. The deep fried wontons. And this one is. Where's that? Oh, there it is. Deep fried rice paper rolls with shrimp and mango. Okay, and this is a spread. It's actually a lot bigger than my camera. <laughs> so let's start this. Let's eat. Okay, so let's start devouring this while I'm still very, very hungry. Okay, guys, so let's start with their hargao. Now, this looks good. This is their hargao, which is basically a steamed shrimp dumpling. It has a nice... It has coriander inside. And the skin looks phenomenal. We'll try this one as is. Without any soy sauce first. Mm. That is good. Believe it or not, the shrimp is so fresh, so chewy. It has a nice sweetness to it, but 
it's I think it's gonna be better with some soy sauce. By the way, they give us light soy sauce for this. A bit of soy sauce. Ita dake mas. A bit of that soy sauce makes so much difference. Okay. So let's move on to the next dish, which is their pork bun okay this is their barbecue pork bun or technically it's asado asado bun look at that first of all I know for a fact that I have to remove the paper at the bottom okay we'll put that aside and then let's check the inside out oh yeah look at that it's still piping hot and there's no easy way of eating this but by hand. So let's try this one out. Mm. Mm. The pork is not that sweet. But the flavor is really... The barbecue sauce is not sweet actually. Flavor-wise it's really good. You can still taste the pork. That bun is so fluffy. It's like eating a cloud. And I thought it was gonna be very heavy. It's actually quite light. So this is perfect. Mm. That's one of the best pork buns I've had. It's making me question my <laughs> My, my beliefs. Oh god, that's good. Okay, next we'll try their shumai. Okay, first of all, <coughs> see the top? The waiter told me that it's actually wolfberry. I have no idea what wolfberry is. All I know is it's, uh, they told me, I did my research on Google. And they said that this is uh, good for your health. So we'll try it as is with a wolfberry. I'm not sure how it's gonna taste, but we'll give it a try. It doesn't, it doesn't give any flavor that wolfberry but the nice shrimp flavor of the shumai plus that pork it's really very very succulent the skin is nice and thin that it just melts in your mouth I think I'm gonna try this without the wolfberry and in a bit of soy sauce by the way they gave me three other sauces here, the XO sauce, the chili, and the calamansi. I'm curious, I like it with just soy sauce. So we'll try this one out. The slight saltiness actually has a has a has an effect on the shumai it actually brought out more of the flavors of the shumai itself the pork and shrimp that is delicious okay so let's move on to our third oh fourth dish dim sum this is their let me let me double check my código Dim sum, dim sum, dim sum, dim sum. Oh, this is the steamed shrimp and corn ball. It looks cool. It has its own sauce. Oh, yeah. Yeah, huh? 
That looks good. We'll give this one a try. Mmm. Mmm. It has a nice bite. It has a bit of spice to it. But the, the texture of the succulent shrimp plus the crunch from that corn inside is really good. We'll try just a bit of that. You know what? I'll get a bit of that XO sauce. There it is. We'll try this. I heard XO sauce is actually made of dried seafood so seafood on seafood can actually accent each other so we'll give this one a try mm. that extra sauce is to die for packed full of umami and let's put it this way I would like to eat that with just plain rice okay so let's move on to my favorite dim sum well my well, this is actually my favorite dim sum this this is steamed pork ribs in black bean sauce this is my favorite dim sum of all time they give me vegetables, but I'm sorry, I'll have to take it out. I prefer my meat as is. Look at that. It's glistening, nice and fatty. And there's a lot, there's a few black beans here. And the sauce. See that sauce at the bottom? That is liquid gold. It's so juicy, it's glistening. Okay, we'll give this one a bite. Oh God, this is the best version of I've had, of this I've had here in Manila. In Manila. It's so succulent. The pork is nice and juicy. It's not actually, it's just right. I'll, I'll try this one with a bit of soy sauce. Okay. can't go wrong with tender pork steamed in a very very flavorful sauce okay so we'll move on to the next dish which is the rice rolls rice roll there's actually two types of rice roll here sorry check it out my código there's two types of rice roll I believe this is the shrimp one and this is the pork barbecue one rice roll is basically um, ground up rice or rice flour made into a slurry put into this uh, steaming contraption steams and then they put toppings while it's steaming then they roll it up thus creating this awesome dim sum technically it's supposed to be dim sum so we'll cut one we'll try the shrimp first I'm changing to spoon and fork because I don't want to spill this on my shirt which actually helps a lot because it's actually quite slippery. Okay. Basically like eating the hargao with a bit of with a bit thicker thicker wrapper. Here. I'll give you a cross section of what's inside. That nice shrimp. Shit, it 
She needs a bit of soy sauce. There. Fresh shrimp encased in a silky, silky rice roll. Where can you go wrong with that? Now we'll try this one. This is the barbecue one. Ooh, yeah. This is a barbecue pork one. It's filled with that same filling as that barbecue bun, but this time it's in roll form. You can taste the pork. It's quite sweet though. But it has that flavor of that uh, five spice. It's really good. This one I dip in a bit of soy sauce. Let's give this one a try. That my friend is a win. Okay? That is so good mind-blowingly good so i will continue with the other dishes i'll just set up the camera for another angle we'll see you in the next one okay guys so my barbecue stuff has arrived this is the chasu or barbecue pork and this one is quite unique this is this is their marinated pork knuckles also known as, technically this is what you call for crispy pata, that's the stuff. I like it because it has that gelatinous skin and I hope it's very tender. Sorry. Now let's try their pork first. Mmm. Mmm. The pork is nicely marinated. If you notice that the pork is actually see that pink line? That means it's it's either cooked in an oven that has smoke or it's been smoked. It has that nice flavor of pork and that um, Chinese five spice that they're actually they have this they put this red paste on it that's actually Helps with chasu. Okay, let me just get this near me. Near me. I tried to get the exo sauce near me. I'm gonna try this with exo sauce. Okay, we'll try this with some exo sauce. Ooh. Mm. That exo sauce is packed full of umami. It accented the flavor of that pork. That's so good. We'll try a bit of their hot sauce, their hot chili sauce. You know, guys, I'm not a fan of spicy food, spicy food, but I'm willing to try this. Ooh. This chili, oh, it has a bite. The chili has a very distinct flavor to it which actually helps cut the fattiness of that pork now let's move on to the pork knuckles we'll try this as is mm. very very tender we'll try it's nice and fatty nice and gelatinous super tender We'll try it with a bit of soy sauce. You know when I eat out in Chinese restaurants, I always ask for that ginger sauce. Maybe this could have used a bit of that. Mm. That soy sauce actually brought out the flavor of that pork really well. We'll get a bit of that chili sauce again. 
Maybe it'll help with the fattiness of the pork. Look at that. Ah, no, 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 no. Don't fall down. There it is. Mm. Nice. That has good flavor. Okay. That spiciness actually cut down the fattiness of that pork. But you can now taste that gooey gelatinous skin more. Now let's move on to the next dish. This is their dong po braised pork belly. Okay. You cannot go wrong with pork belly. Why? Because technically this is bacon. This is braised bacon. Look at that. I think this is one of Thai, uh, Taiwanese dish. One of the national dishes of Taiwan. Look at that, it's glistening. Nice layer of fat. It's, it's, this is what I call the perfect cut of pork. It's lean fat, lean fat skin. This is so good. That is mind-blowingly good. A bit fatty, but it it melts in your mouth. We'll try this one with a bit of that EXO sauce. Yeah, and a bit of that chili. Let's help cut that fattiness. There it is. Fatty pork with XO and chili sauce. Look at that. Oh. That is good. That is mind-blowingly good. I'm trying I'm starting to question my <laughs> beliefs because of this pork. Wow. You know what? I'll finish this last one while we, uh, while I get the other plate of food ready. Okay. Get this one out. Mm. Wow. I'm gonna have dreams about that pork tonight. Okay, now this one. This one is their... This is, uh, sorry. This is the next dish. This is the mango and crab roll. Deep fried mango and crab roll. We'll give this one a bite. Mm. It's nice and crispy. That mango actually brings out the sweetness of that shrimp more. It's really good. It's a, it has a nice balance to it too. Crunchy, smooth, chewy. We'll try this with a bit of soy sauce. It's supposed to be eaten with that mayonnaise, but I think mayonnaise will be overkill right now. And I prefer mayonnaise. I prefer soy sauce over this. For this, sorry. Mm. That is good stuff. I noticed most of the dishes here in this restaurant are all about balance. Balance of flavors, balance of textures. Each one must be carefully made or studied 
create uh, one actually carefully crafted I mean each recipe ah, so good now let's move on to the next dish this is the deep fried oh, sorry it's still alive let me double check my my, my. this is the deep fried crispy pork shrimp yeah shrimp and pork wonton it's quite light it's not one ton that is golden crispy goodness mm. What I would do right now for a bowl of dandan noodles, this would have been perfect with that. But we'll try it with that soy sauce. Try it with the soy sauce. Now, the pork actually goes well with the shrimp. Really fatty, really flavorful. And I think this is the best one that you can have here in Manila. Okay, that's it. That was supposed to be eaten with that sweet and sour sauce. Because I didn't eat the sweet and sour sauce, I have our next dish which is their sweet and sour pork. I know, I know. This is typical American style Chinese, but I love it. Look at that, it's gooey, nice and crispy. You can't go wrong with sweet and sour pork, guys. This is gonna sound racist, but sweet and sour pork. Yeah, this is the stuff. I love it. Look how gooey it is. flavor of that pork is nice it's sliced thin enough that it gets crispy but that sauce is not too sour not too sweet it's just right okay we'll try this one one more time this one has more crunchy bits mm. The nice thing about this sweet and sour pork here, it's been sitting here for a while now, but it's still crunchy, even though it's submerged in that sauce. All in all, really, really decadent pork. Eh? So now let's move on to this steamed heavenly dish. I'll need my spoon for this. Okay, main course, main course. Oh, this is the steamed garupa fillet. Garupa is known in the Philippines as lapu lapu. Okay, it's basically a grouper. Huge fish. Actually, they're more of a not a stealth predator, but a ambush predator fish. And the best part actually for that fish is the cheek. But this is this is this looks very promising. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. I have a feeling that this sauce is gonna be heavenly. We'll get some of that sauce. Pour it over. Oh yeah. We're going, we're going for a big bite. We are going for a big bite. And I can see that they have minced garlic and 
ginger with oh this is just garlic minced garlic and chives on top I didn't chew it I didn't need to chew it it melts in your mouth it's so oh my god it melts in your mouth that's how good it is and it, they're using the fresh fish well given a choice yes this is actually one of the best seafood restaurants near here because we're in Solaire just outside Solaire is Manila Bay so you have to expect that this is going to be good seafood that they have great seafood we'll give this one We'll give this one more bite. Mm. Heavenly. Absolutely. 100%. Heavenly. Okay. Now we'll move on to another fried dish which is their lemon chicken I think they didn't put sauce on this I don't know where the lemon is but it looks like fried chicken to me right now I can see it's very crispy we'll give this one a try and you guys know I love my fried chicken It's a bit tough. Wait. Give me a sec. I have to get the sauce. There it is. I didn't see it. It comes with the lemon sauce. It comes with a separate lemon sauce. That's well, for fried chicken. It is actually delicious as fried chicken. Oh, this sauce is thick. We'll try it with that lemon sauce. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. The chicken succulent. Very flavorful. But that sauce. Deep fried foods have a tendency to be fatty, but that sauce actually helps cut that fattiness out. I think I, do, I can't find any more great uh, dim sum places if I try, if I continue eating here. I'm surely gonna bring my mom here one time. It's that good. I actually ordered. I think two or three more items I'm just gonna wait for it uh, but before that I'll finish with one more dish for this sec for this segment okay Kodigo <laughs> this is the Shanghai style pan fried pork and shrimp dumpling Ooh. It looks like a gyoza. It actually really feels and looks like a gyoza. It's a bit thicker. Yeah. This looks like a gyoza. Mm. That has good flavor. Porky, shrimpy. That's good. We'll try it with a bit of that soy sauce. They gave me black vinegar for this, but I'm not a fan of black vinegar. We'll try it with this.
so much better with that soy sauce. For last bite for this set, I'm gonna eat this with XO sauce. Look at that. Can't go wrong with XO sauce. Focus. Camera focus. Oh well. There it is. XO sauce. What an explosion of flavors. Okay. So while I'm waiting for the other dish to arrive, I continue eating. And after that one more set, I'll give you the review of the, of the restaurant itself. Okay? Yeah. Okay guys, this is our last dish here. This is the wok fried yellow noodle with pork barbecue or barbecue pork look at that yes I know it has vegetables I'm not a fan of veggies you know that but I'm willing to try it for you guys mm. That thing has a, you can, really, really peppery flavor. Oh, it comes with a pepper sauce, black pepper sauce, that's why. It tastes that pork barbecue. You can know, you know that the wok is nicely seasoned because it has that nice charred flavor that I love with stir fried noodles. Let me just get, this, get rid of that and that too. We'll give this a second bite. Look at that, guys. You can see that there's nice char marks on this. That's because of the wok. A well seasoned wok actually gives a lot of flavor to the dish. That tastes heavenly. Now, let's move on to this one. I ordered another set of that garupa. I wanted to try it with this. I'm getting a bit of that chili. I'm gonna distribute it evenly around the three. And then I'm gonna get some of that delicious XO sauce. Put it amongst the three. And then a bit of soy sauce on all of them. Okay. Now let's give it a try. Look at that. It's so fresh. It's still sliding off the plate. Mm. fish is so soft, so delicate, it has that umph from that chili and that delicious XO sauce, it's just an umami bomb, look at that, Whew. I wish I had rice, I could put rice here. It eat this as is, but this is heavenly. Oh, I can feel it. Starting to feel the heat coming up here. This is gonna be awesome. Mm. That's it for my 
savory dishes. I'm now moving on to the desserts and we'll wait for my desserts. See ya. Okay guys, uh, <laughs> I have a confession to make. Actually, this is not my first dessert. This is my second dessert because I was shooting a while ago. I forgot to press record on this camera, but I recorded on this camera everything. So I'm redoing the uh, shoot. This one is their... <laughs> See, I bit half. Good thing I didn't finish all. This is their... What do you call this? Ah, Kataifi? Kataifi? A Kataifi roll with avocado. As you can see, it's technically just rice noodles wrapped in this avocado filling that's inside. It's, you can see it's green. Actually, it tasted awesome a while ago. We'll try this one out one more time. Mm. That thing has a nice balance of crunchy, gooey, and creamy avocado inside. That's good stuff. Now this one. We call this here in the Philippines Bucci. Bucci gang, no, Bucci. It's technically like a mochi ball filled with lotus. Lotus, what do you call this? Paste. And it's covered in sesame seeds, then deep fried. So check that out. Uh -huh. Look at that filling. Woohoo! So we'll take this as a one biter. Piping hot. <laughs> Flavor wise, it's awesome. It's creamy. That paste in the middle is just right. Has the right sweetness. And that toasted sesame flavor outside. Perfect. Now, this may not look Chinese to you, but this is technically a Portuguese tart or natas. Macau is heavily influenced by the Portuguese. Therefore, this is technically a Chinese dish or a dim sum dish, which is one of my favorites actually. It's an egg, egg custard tart. Look at that. It's crumbly, eggy, buttery, creamy goodness. That's so good. I'm gonna be dreaming about that again. With, uh, I'm gonna be dreaming that for the next few days. Okay, so I'll just give a breathe. I'll get a breather for about a while, for about two minutes. Then I'm going to give you the review of the restaurant. So. Yeah. Okay guys. Here's the review of Red Lantern here in <coughs> Solaire. By the way, Solaire is a hotel and casino. So you can go lose some cash but win in the buffet afterwards. <laughs> so here's my review. We're based on five criteria. Location, ambiance, service, food, and price. Based on location first. Location is quite hard to get here, but it's all the way. It's it's uh how do I? It's near Mall of Asia. Okay, it's uh it's its own separate building, really far from ev from the maddening crowd. But the good thing is. They have a shuttle service that can get you here. You can access this place via Grab or easily come here via their shuttle. 
So with with that in mind, I have to give them a four out of five on location. Now, ambiance. I feel as if I'm in China. Music, tables. The only downside here was they most of their seats are with armrests and it's not fat person friendly, but they made up for it with this. They gave me a seat that has no armrest. So I have to put that with the count that as service, not of as look as ambiance. Ambiance wise, I have to give him a four. The table decor and everything was well made and ambiance wise, layout of the tables and the chairs and the dining area is is spaced adequately that you don't bump into somebody when you when you go to the bathroom and since this is a sit down buffet everything is brought to you so again that's a four out of five now service before I start I have to thank Kuya Joseph Kuya Rogelio Ate Rachel and Ate Zay for giving me the best experience here it's it's just because of them that I enjoyed here aside from the food the service was top-notch if I can give them a six I would give them a six they actually gave me the chair that I'm sitting on right now because they saw that I was I was what do you call this kind of tight in the yellow chair and believe it or not they check up on you every so every little every other minute because sure are you doing okay is the food okay then then when you order the stuff it comes in in waves and it, they know they know that I'm recording and they don't even speak they just they sign language sure so it won't be disturbing my shoot so with that in mind I, read, I think they really deserve that six but as I said I can only go up to five so five out of five for service now the food I'm gonna be dreaming about the food for the next few days that black bean spare ribs so good their hargo their strips were fresh very succulent pork not overly fatty and that XO sauce I mean, this EXO sauce, it is to die for. It's an umami bomb. Each bite of dim sum with that. So with that in mind, I'm gonna give the food a five out of five. It's quantity and quality are really top notch. Okay? Now, let's talk about price. Price, believe it or not, everything I ordered, I am only paying. Charan, I only paid 1,100 pesos. Technically, that's it's supposed to be 999. Be there without tax. With tax, it's 1,088. That excludes drinks, and I believe it is worth it. That's why I'm going to give them a five out of five on the price easily affordable for the quality and the quantity of the dishes served to you truly worth it now will I come back here definitely when am I gonna come back here with my mom maybe next week <laughs> but for now I think this place is I misjudged it and I would like to thank one more person uh, Mikey Chen of Strictly Dumpling I saw your vlog and that's what inspired me to come and check this place out so thanks Mikey that's it I have nothing else to say that's the vlog thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe comment down below if you want to visit want me to visit any other place that you think has good food and what else oh yeah don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Paul Always Gutom Never Busog, on Twitter at Paul Always Gutom, 
and on Facebook at Always Gutom Never Busog. So till next vlog, see you in the dining room. Tara ka in tayo. <laughs>